Hey there amigos, what is up? My name is Ruby and let's check out some news. Up in Townsville, the worst of the weather has finally moved on, but the oversupply of water is still causing some big problems. This isn't how a train is supposed to look, in case you didn't already know. It was being stored here, but tipped over as the floodwaters rose, and metals that were being stored inside the train, like zinc and copper, have spilled out. It's no wonder it tipped over, though. Check out this time lapse of how fast water flooded a train track at a place called Corella Creek. Hundreds of families have started the big job of cleaning out their homes and getting rid of all this mud. Oh, and if you wanted a first-hand account of what the situation's like here in Townsville, well, reporter in training Caitlin has you covered. As you can see, there's a big flood. My auntie just saw a snake before. Yeah, the snake's crocodile. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, Ning and Zara, you better stop doing those rain dances, I tell ya. That's why I'm making all the rain. Look what you did. Yeah, look. There's a new study out that says per person, Aussies are installing renewable power at more than four times the rate of any other country. A big part of that is the solar panels that are being installed on people's roofs. It's pretty exciting because the study says if we keep it up, we could meet our Paris Agreement target five years early. And that target is to halve our country's greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. What's the coolest thing you've ever made out of Lego? Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but you're about to meet a guy who's probably made something way cooler. This is David. He's a Spanish teenager who's made his very own bionic arm. He was born without a right forearm because of a rare genetic condition. As a child, I was very nervous to be in front of other guys uh, because I was different, but that didn't stop me believing in my dreams. Since he was nine, David's been experimenting with prosthetic limbs, and now he is studying bioengineering in Barcelona. He runs a YouTube channel called Hand Solo, where he also showcases his music. And he says his big dream is to eventually design affordable robotic limbs for people who need them. How would you like to spend a day at school overseas and then be back in time for the final bell? Well, thanks to the magic of virtual reality, you can. Get ready to experience a day in the life of Maya. Nara Maya. Metina Sia. Escola y Eficas Napa. She's nine and lives in Timor Leste, or East Timor. It's a country pretty close to Australia, but to this class, her school day seems very different. We don't get to have a pet pig unless you're on the farm, but then drought came and then there's not a lot of pigs left, so they're lucky to have a pig as a pet. With the cardboard VR headset, you can be transported straight to her home and school, with some helpful translations, of course. It's all part of a VR program which has been launched this week in New South Wales schools to give kids an idea of what life's like for others around the globe. I was thinking it'd be kind of similar, but it was almost completely different. The class has also raised money to support Maya's school, and she's already got some pretty big fans. And to wrap up the day, here are some creatures with wacky features. First up, meet Fred. He's the emu who's adopted the MacArthur family. A couple of weeks ago, he followed them home after a day of cattle mustering on their property in Queensland, and, well, he never left. He's been hanging around and entertaining them ever since. Picking up like a horse! <laughs> and just so you know, no, this is not even slightly normal emu behaviour. Fred is one wacky outback creature. Next up, you probably don't need me to tell you that this cat, Fluffy, was in serious trouble. She was found buried in snow and brought into a vet. And incredibly, not only did she survive, she made a full recovery. One life down, eight to go. And finally, something straight out of my worst nightmares. SeaWorld in San Diego has just released this video of a Japanese spider crab shedding its exoskeleton, which is also a terrifying word. I don't really know what else to say about this, except that it is terrifying. Hope you enjoyed the show today, guys. If you want to see more awesome stuff like this, head over to our YouTube channel and hit subscribe. Just like that. Subscribe. It's that easy.